Welcome to Variant One Shot. As the title of this video says, I'm going to be talking about five Batman stories that should be made into movies. And when I say movie, I'm talking about live action or animated. So for instance, if the movie already has an animated movie like The Killing Joke, The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2, Batman Year One and so on, clearly I'm not going to mention that particular story because, well, they already have movies. But fret not my comic loving friends, there's a cornucopia of Batman stories and graphic novels to choose from. So in no particular order, the first one on my list is Batman Hunt. Batman Hush is easily one of the most loved Batman stories of all time. This story is written really well by Jeff Loeb and is drawn by Jim Lee, and this comic has some of my favorite art in all of comic books. The book just looks so good. Both Loeb and Lee were able to tell a fantastic story that has a bunch of guest appearances from Batman's rogues gallery. You have Killer Croc, Riddler, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, Clayface, Joker, Harley Quinn, Ra's al Ghul, and Hush. That's a lot of villains. I might even be forgetting some villains because there's so many in the story, I don't think I remember them all. This story is about a mysterious man called Hush who knows Batman's secret identity and is out to destroy both Bruce Wayne and Batman. And like I said, along the way, Batman runs into a bunch of his villains, but also allies. It's a great book that has a bunch of potential for a great movie. It would probably work best as an animated movie, but either way, daddy wants. Next up is Batman The Long Halloween. I honestly don't know how this hasn't been made into a movie, especially an animated one, since they've already done Batman Year One, Under the Red Hood, and The Killing Joke, which is being released really soon. It's easily one of the most popular and loved Batman stories of all time. Elements were even used in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight, like the whole rooftop scene with Batman, Gordon, and Dent. That's a direct nod to a scene from The Long Halloween. But to see a live action or animated Batman movie taking on this storyline would be a fanboy's dream come true. Moving along, we have Death in the Family. This is hands down one of the most pivotal points in Batman's career, as his partner Jason Todd, the second Robin, was killed by the Joker. So not only did Batman have to deal with the death of his partner, which he's still dealing with to this day in the comics, even though Jason Todd came back several years later, but it's also a reminder to us and Batman once again why the Joker truly is the Dark Knight's arch enemy. We've already seen Jason Todd's costume hanging in the Batcave in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, which Joker spray painted on it saying, ha ha jokes on you Batman. So if we get a flashback or at least several scenes from Death in the Family in the upcoming Ben Affleck solo Batman movie, I think tears of joy will roll down my face. Seriously. And then if we flash forward to present time where we get to see Jason Todd as Red Hood and him blaming Batman for not killing the Joker after he killed him, good God, I could only hope. Speaking of things I could only hope for, I would love to see the Court of Owls storyline be made into a movie. It was the first Batman story of the New 52 back in 2011 and has since become known as one of the best stories ever written for Batman, which I couldn't agree with more. Writer Scott Snyder found a way to create a group of new antagonists that felt like they were always part of the Batman mythos, which is extremely hard and impressive. The Court of Owls is such a brilliant concept. They're a secret society of organized crime that have existed since colonial times in Gotham. They create their own assassins known as Talons to go out and do whatever they see fit. Also, the Court of Owls and Talons look great, so who wouldn't want to see that in a movie? It's such a good Batman story, guys. I can't stress it enough. Batman is as awesome as ever, and so are the villains. It's hard to create new villains that people love and that will stand the test of time, but Snyder and Capullo did that with this story. The storyline is only like four years old and it already has become an iconic Batman story. That's how good this book is and that's why it needs to be made into a film. But this brings me to the last Batman story on my list that I want to get made into a movie, which is Death of the Family. This is actually the next story that Snyder and Capullo did after Court of Owls, and man is it a great story. Basically the Joker says he knows Batman's secret identity and that the Bat family is making Batman weak where the Joker states that he challenges Batman, which in turn makes him stronger. So of course the Joker goes after the entire Bat family to prove his point. There's a lot more to it, but I think you guys get the point. Like all the stories I've mentioned on this list, this is hands down one of the best Batman stories I've ever read. The psychology of it is great. You really get to see what the Joker thinks him and Batman's relationship is like. It's twisted and amazing. But with that said, that brings my list to a close. Clearly there is way more great Batman stories that would make for great movies, but this is just my personal list. So let me know in the comments what Batman stories you want made into movies. 